Hello everybody, Gliderman here. So today we're going to be looking at faces and uh, what you can actually do with them. And I'm not referring to like uh, creature or character or model faces, um, but actually the things that connect uh, multiple vertices together um, and create a visible plane. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to uh, add a mesh and I'm just going to add a plane and I'm just going to scale that up so that it's a little bit easier to see. Now we're going to tab into edit mode and let's just say um, we wanted to pull down this middle bit but we didn't have that face there. Um, for some reason we've removed it um, in some way. Uh, possibly we were modeling something uh, and we chose not to put that in. Either way, uh, we can subdivide and we can just bump up uh, some of the cuts there. Uh, we'll go with five there uh, so that there's one, two, three, four, five. Uh, sorry. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And then the four corners. Um, and we kind of want to be able to fill this in, but if we just did the normal uh, fill, uh, things don't quite work. Um, so if we try Control F, uh, that brings up a whole uh, menu related to faces, and we can try uh, the uh, fill there, and you can see that does a triangle uh, fill, which is useful for uh, games where uh, you want to have the uh, triangles which are unable to be bent uh, defined so that uh, it's not left up to the game engine to interpolate it or interpret it uh, however they think it needs to be interpreted. Um, whereas this says you cannot bend this because it's a triangle. But that's kind of not useful for actually being able to pull down this middle which is what we're trying to do. So, uh, in this circumstance. Uh, so, we've got all of our points, and I've just undoed there, and we do Control F. We can do Grid Fill, and this is pretty cool, because if we click that, you can see it instantly fills in with that grid. And uh, now we can grab that middle part, and let's just say we were in uh, proportional editing. I can grab along the Z and bend uh, it down and make, you know, some sort of pit or whatever. Uh, and that was just using uh, the grid fill there. So it's just uh, this little border, and then you can uh, drop it down. However, there are some limitations to uh, using that kind of uh, fill. Uh, for instance, if I had previously made some extra bits stick off of it before, uh, it would get a little bit confused and not actually be able to fill it in. Um, so it would have to be specifically a grid, and it does not appear to be, unfortunately, locked to what your selection is. Um, but, I mean, good things come at a price. Uh, so this can potentially save you some time, uh, depending on your circumstance where uh, you would want to be using that. Plus, the uh, triangle fill is pretty handy as well. Uh, let's just undo a couple. There we go. So, with the Control F and then uh, the fill, which is also mapped to Alt F, uh, so that it's a little bit quicker. Um, but there's a lot of different things uh, in here. Um, obviously, triangulate faces won't do anything for now, uh, but say you had done this, you can do control T and that would triangulate it. Basically the same thing as uh, just doing Alt F, like that. So um, there's a lot of different options in here and you can uh, feel free to explore these and check them out. Um, they're quite nice and I hope this was uh, useful and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>